Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. I have a couple of videos planned to record for uh, in the near future, but for them to work for you to understand what I am doing in these videos, I need to create uh, this one. This video is going to be about zero tier global network uh, service. Let me quickly Google zero tier and zero tier global area network. And what this service allows you to do is allows you to connect multiple devices into a local network. Um, the their software or their service uh, compatible with, my, uh, with Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Apple iOS, Android, Linux, uh, FreeBSD, Synology, and so on. WWD, my cloud NAS is is literally. Um, a lot of devices compatible with this service and by the way this service is open sourced and in a nutshell what this will allow you to do um, installing the clients on your devices like I will install I will install one client on my Samsung DeX and another client I will install on the Shadow Cloud Gaming PC which is based in France so it's uh, about a thousand miles there or so away from my house and I will connect them into a local network and what is going to happen that both devices my Samsung DeX and the Shadow Cloud Gaming PC will think that they both connected to a local network as they are will be connected literally at home in my house so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to quickly log in you can create an account or log in with the email and password and if I go to networks as you can see, at the moment I have no networks created and to create a network is super easy. You just click the button and that's it. The network is created. It gives you a unique ID number. So if I go all the way up, it gives you a unique ID number. Uh, this ID number cannot be changed and you need to make a note of this number because we're going to use this number quite a lot of times in this video. As a quick rundown, uh, my network is private, not public. It means uh, I need to authorize everyone who wants to connect to be able to connect. Otherwise, if I'll click public, as soon as anyone punches this uh, uh, a network ID, everybody can connect. By the way, like I said, this service is free, but there is a limitation. With the free service, you can only connect 100 devices. No more. I mean 100 devices. If I will take every single device that I own here and in office, I barely will reach even 30. And this free um, free tier or free account allows you to connect up to 100, um, 100 devices. And one of the good use for this, for example, I was, I was having a quick look on the Google Play Store. Let's say there is an Android game that you want to play with your friend. And he is across the town in a different country. Is not at your house and this Android device only have the offline game mode or multiplayer over local network mode. So what you can do, you can take your phone and your friend's phone, both install the zero tier, connect to the same network and the Android game will think that you both actually connected to the same network and it's not like the, it's like, you, it's gonna be about a couple of hundred miles difference between you and is and this zero tier will allow you to play these kind of games on the local network or will trick your devices to think that they are connected on local network okay stop blabbing connect your own setting up easy or advanced i can basically uh, choose what kind of ip range i want or click easy i like to use this one 192.168.192 and whatever and at the moment, I have no devices joined in my network. So what I'll do, I'll take this ID number and I copy on to the Zero Tier app. By the way, Zero Tier, Zero Tier app is available on Google Play Store and you can download it for free. So I launch the app, I click Add Network. I paste that, click Add the Network, Minimize. I'm just going to quickly shove it that in the code because I don't want you to see my public IP. So let's give a second or so. Let's do refresh. It usually takes up to a minute or so for all that to connect. Um, I'm just going to keep refreshing. This web page will automatically update as soon as somebody is connected, but I just am patient person. 
So I'm just keep carry on refreshing and wait until it's the it's connected. Let's have a quick look. Let's clear all that and zero tier. Let's go back. Oh yeah, sorry. After you entering the ID, I need to turn it on and then the connection is established. So right now, keep refreshing and scroll down. Here you go. I do have this. So I can verify O2OE6F117A if I open the zero tier app. This is the ID number. I need to make sure that this matches what I see on the website. So yeah, that's me. I'm gonna say yes, authorize. Click that and it's turned green. If I click short name, I can type S6. So I will know that this is my six tablet and straight away I do get the local IP assigned, which is 192.168.192.33. So this is connected. Let me go and open the shadow app. Let's actually try do uh, this way. Let's jump in a shadow desktop. Let me quickly uh, expand this slightly for you to see. Okay. It just as soon as a mouse goes over the screen, it takes into the windows. So right now into the, in the windows. So I need to quick keep doing that and resizing the, the actual screen. Here we go. That should be okay. So waiting for shadow. Okay, so I am in my Shadow Cloud Gaming Service PC. I do have Zero Tier already installed. By the way, it's available for free on Windows as well. So I'm going to click Join the Network. And if I do this trick and I go up, I need this number. So in here, I'll type B6. B6, come on, numpad, work. Okay, B6079. F, oops, F73, C6, E50237. And join. But with, with the um, Shadow PC, I encourage you just to um, allow management, but do not take anything else. What's going to happen if you check some, all that, if you make a tick to all of them, the zero tier will route the traffic via their service services and you might lose a connection to shadow pc and what the shadow support team will have to do they will have to reset your account so please make sure that you click on what you know what you're clicking on and just i take no responsibility if you're gonna mess it up but it's working for me and if you follow my steps correctly it will follow for you as well and i just by accident deleted the network Fantastic. Okay, let's do again. 6079F736C6E50237. Click join. I just clicked on it. Here we go. Yes. And show network. Here you go. So allow global IP, allow default route, all both of these needs to be unticked and allow managed IP, leave it tick, it says connected and the button delete obviously will delete. So if I do this trick again, I go here and now I have a second one, which I can verify from, where is this ID? All right, I need to go back. Okay, I'm not gonna click it. Anyway, I know that's me, shadow. So this is so. These both devices right now are linked to a local IP address. So how to test it? If I go to Shadow PC and if I'll search for command prompt, if I'll go all over here, I hope you can see, I'm gonna type ping 192.168.192.33. So right now I'm sending ping test from France to my tablet, a Galaxy Tab S6 via local network. So Shadow PC and the Tab S6 thinks that they are both connected to a local network. And this allows me to do some amazing things. As example, if I go to my file manager inside the Shadow PC, let's wait for the file manager to open. I 
probably open twice, but doesn't matter. I do have a folder inside the documents created with the name of DAX. And this folder, this folder, I believe, is shared on the Samba via local network. So if we go sharing, yes, it's been shared. So I do believe that I can, using Total Commander, get to that file via LAN window share option. So Shadow PC, bingo, as you can see, DAX. So if I go back to Shadow PC, I go inside DAX and I create a folder and I'm going to say testing and 12.38 current time, 12.38, enter, folder created. Let's do this trick, go here, refresh, testing, brilliant, it's working. And if I delete this file off, off the using, oh, come on. Come on, oh, come on, what's going on? And if I click, delete this file using a total commander, and if I go back to Shadow PC. So what I, by using zero tier and connecting these two devices, my tablet, Galaxy Tab S6, and the France, in, in my gaming PC based in France, I can move files back and forward as I would do in the local network. Obviously, it's not as fast as it would be on actual local network, but it is very useful thing. And this zero tier and the video why I am creating this video to show you how to set this up because upcoming videos are quite amazing and for you to be able to use what I'm about to show in the future videos you need to know how to set up zero tier otherwise it's just gonna make no sense for you. I will leave a link to a video on YouTube uh, which I found very in-depth inform uh, informative about zero tier and one of the YouTubers created about half an hour or so video showing you how Zero Tier works and explaining everything in depth. If you want to go and check that out, just find the link in the description below. I will leave a link to actual Zero Tier website, all the software I used, and I'll see you next one. By the way, don't forget to click subscribe and press a like on this video if you think that what I showed you is not the bullshit. Oh, by the way, don't forget, we are on Reddit. Find us on Reddit.